Being brushless, I've noticed it doesn't heat up like it did. I had a lot of overheating problems with that one, I mean a lot. It would heat up, you have to let it sit for probably 20-30 minutes before you could do anything. The battery seemed to last a nice long time. You know, we may only just have to change out the pack once. Sometimes I don't charge it for two or three days. The battery lasts for, I mean, for me, three or four days, so that's great. You know, I can really feel and control the drill just with my fingertip, which, uh, which I like. I've never bogged this out. Um, I've never had it stall out on me. That's nice, that's lightweight. Feels good, I'm so used to them big bulky ones throughout the years, you know what I mean? The whole overall weight of the drill is a lot better. A much lighter drill. And it's, it's just kind of, it's real well balanced. And I like the fact that it is short enough that I can get it between a, uh, a stud bag. So the fact that this is compact is, uh, is nice. I love the fact that it has a metal chuck. A lot of drills that I've used have that plastic chuck on there. This thing really bites down. You don't have to worry about it coming loose. It's got a great little light down here. It, it's great for aligning and uh, seeing your marks. Light position is pretty good because it's you know shining right where you're working. 